com aqui, beleza, com o seu. Hello, this is this of channel. And basically, I make videos about African history. Though most of them are youth by history. But today, I want to talk about the famous fictional movie called Anifulaku. Like, you know, if it were to be real at that time, things that could have actually happened. But before I start, uh, let me start by telling you that it's a good movie. And it's perfect as a fictional movie. Anikulaku in Yoruba translates to that he who has death in his pocket and which denotes that the person can keep death till another time, maybe when it is needed. So the storyline is about a man called Saru from Gordon who travels around and arrives in Oyo to establish his business and along the line he got into an affair with the king's wife. He later planned to run away with the king's wife and he was caught and beaten to death. His first death, that's his first death. So after which he was resurrected by death and through his newly dead wife, he got the power to resurrect the dead as well. He later started earning a living by raising the dead. got into problem with his wife and then his second date. Mm, for some reason, let me first talk about what I like about it. It's color, you know, look of the atmosphere. I think that's what they call color grading. So it's been a while I watched Nollywood movie. So I can't tell if this is the new way they used to do it. Then also the same. Look, it's true I didn't live in those days, but you know, I've seen what Yoruba settlements look like in that period in black and white. I'm talking about the architectures, the interior of the houses. So I don't know the location they used, but they just look so neat. Number one is seeing that people do not bury their dead at that time. Firstly, I want to tell you that the timeline or settings for this film is between 1619 and 1875, which were the period of slave trade in Africa. Why did I say that? Lori, I want you to say that. Hello? I'm going to say that. So there are archaeological evidences of Yoruba burial site in Odobe in Ileife, which were dated back to the 11th century, and also in Bara, over your location. So Bara is the place where many past things and their subjects are buried, including Obalopo, the king who was said to have introduced salt for domestic use. So except the narrator is trying to remind us of the more ancient times that Yoruba don't bury the dead and that this has nothing to do with the content of the movie then it's then I can say it's okay. It won't be possible for Saru to refuse to give out the charm like that in front of the king. Just look at how he did it. So I mean they can refuse since they don't know much about how the team works, but not in a rude manner like that. And I can see that they later came up with something tricky to avoid giving it up for examination. The way Saru was killed. The crime Saru committed is a serious one. I don't think a Oyo king of that time would say something like that as a judgment. 
His judgment is like asking the people to do whatever they like to him. They could have just beaten him and leave him wounded. And as you can see, he was still breathing at the time they left him at the scene. So if it was in those days, according to most historical accounts or historical events, he could have been sacrificed or beheaded later in the day. So nevertheless, all this doesn't make it a imperfect movie. So it's perfect and I really liked it. Thank you for watching.